Okay, today's experiment is with my one magnet Virginia exciter, and it's a combination between a pulse motor and an exciter circuit. And I've made two changes. I've changed a large pop bottle coil, which is usually here, for a small two centimeter coil. And I've changed a relay coil for a diode, it's a 4937, but you can use a 4148 as well. That coil there as well has got a ferrite slug right down the center of it. So that's the circuit diagram, and this is the circuit running. Uh, I've got a rotor spinning away at the moment. And that's really, really spinning quickly. You can hear it whistling away. And it's still accelerating. And we've got plasma as well. So we've got two for the price of one, really, with this circuit. But it's what I'll do now is I'll stop that because it's going dangerously fast. And that noise you can hear now is the plasma emitting from the ends of the wire. And it's a purple glow. And this is the small coil I'm using here. It's two centimetres long. And uh, there's my finger for scale. And I've just showed the output of that coil. is a fluorescent tube. And uh, it's running on 12 volts at the moment. And I'll just drop it down to nine and it's still going. That's seven and a half, six, and that's four and a half and it's quit. So it will work on six volts. Now these wall adapters always produce slightly more voltage than what it actually says. So that's six, probably about seven and a half and then just add two volts to the other two to be on the safe side. So basically the 12 volt setting is probably more like 16 volts. But uh, I'm just surprised that this small coil will produce plasma like that. Okay, thanks for watching.